19 years ago, Austin band Fastball released The Way, a song which would spend seven weeks on top of the charts. While many are familiar with its famous chorus, far fewer know of the true and terrifying story behind that song. The Night Beats' Michael Perchick joins us now to explain. Michael? Mike and Quita, this was one of my favorite songs growing up. One of those hits you never switched off from when it came up on the radio, but it wasn't until I looked into the song's meaning and deep Central Texas ties that I truly appreciated what it is. A tribute to a beloved couple from Salado. This is the story of the way. An exit to eternal summer slacking. It's a summer tradition, one that takes greater meanings in cities like Salado and Belton. For Leela and Raymond Howard, that tradition was Pioneer Day in Temple. Well, I, I knew they was going to be going because they all went every year. And... The Howards were both on their second marriage, united through a love of the church and that late in life lust to live. I think they just enjoyed going and doing things, you know, together. And Nanny always, that's a, that's the main word she, she stood by is go. That's right. She wanted to go. She didn't care where. And on that particular Saturday, go was on their minds. But their family had different thoughts. Mr. Howard recently had brain surgery, and Mrs. Howard was showing signs of memory loss. So she'd leave something on the stove, and we'd be fixing her hair, and I'd say, i got to go check on whatever she had. She said, I don't know what you're talking about. Still, that didn't derail their vigor for all things go, and to go on their own. I said, do you, you want me to go with you and, and drive the car for Oh, no, no, we'll be fine. I said, don't worry about us. And Anyone can see the road that they walk on is paved in gold. It's always summer, they'll never get cold, never get hungry, never get old. The trip from their Belton home to Temple was 10 miles, 15 minutes tops. And they'd stay till about 3 o'clock yeah. usually. So when it got 5 and they weren't home. And Everybody is doing everything they can to get this couple back home safely. Their disappearance gained widespread media attention, including in the Austin American Statesman. I looked and right away this story sort of struck me. And it was an, sort of an ongoing story, like still no developments in the case of the missing couple. Tony Scalzo is the lead singer of the band Fastball. At the time, the Austin group was looking for inspiration for their second album. Started getting these ideas, well, maybe they don't want to be found, and maybe they just like, you know, they're uh, sick of being responsible, and they just want to go out and have fun. And Within a few hours, Scalzo had developed the bulk of the song. All his authorities were still searching high and low for the Howards. But they got pulled over one time by a cop, and he questioned them a little yeah. bit and then well, let them go. An officer in Arkansas, hundreds of miles from Salado, had stopped them for driving without their lights on. The cop flicked them on for the couple, then let them go. We can't figure out how they got through Dallas. Uh, well, I haven't figured it out yet. At the time, the officer didn't know they were missing. It did, however, narrow the search area. Finally, on day 13, a pair of teenagers walking past a ravine noticed something and told their parents. When cops checked the area, they found the Oldsmobile the Howards were driving in at the bottom of a 25-foot cliff near Hot Springs, Arkansas. But it was a relief because a lot yeah. of families don't have that closure, and that must be very hard. On a conference call, Fastball and its managers were discussing what song would be the single in their new album. Our manager just blurts out, what about that song, The Way? Why don't you just go ahead and try that? The song was sent to radio stations, where it quickly gained traction, eventually catching the attention of Hal Copeland. Oh, that sounded like Mama and Mr. Howard. The way they done, you know, you get, I could tell by the... Well, it's that, you know. A few days later, Hal's beliefs were confirmed. What had quickly become the number one song in the country was a living tribute to his mother. I, I liked it real good. I liked the song real well, too. Yeah, I was just blown away. I just couldn't believe somebody would do yeah. something like, nothing. like that from a grandma. Mm -hmm. The album ended up going platinum and made the band a worldwide sensation. And 19 years later, the song is still on the airwaves. No one else has a story like that. You know, there are other stories, but, you know, 
It's not this story. Those lyrics still mean everything to a family who remembers the people behind the music. They left before the sun came up that day. They just drove off and left it all behind them. But where were they going without ever knowing the way? A couple of postscripts to that piece. Hal Copeland still lives next door to the Howard's old home in Salado, as for Scalzo. He's still the lead singer of Fastball. They're now on a national tour promoting their newest album, Step Into Light. I'm about to start a Facebook Live to answer any questions you might have, so make sure to join us there. Mike and Wita. Wow, Mike, thank you. It's incredible hearing the history behind what so many people know. I mean, Fascinating one of their favorite story. Songs. Mm -hmm. Had no idea that, that it had such history on it, yeah. Mm -hmm. for sure.